Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumaya. So in this tutorial, we'll just uh, see the Unix topic that is related to files and directory permissions. So here, when I give ls minus l, you can see all the details of the files or the directories will be displayed. You can see um, the you know, uh, whatever the d, uh, r, w, x, all those things. The first uh, character that is d will represent the type of the file. That means d means directory. When it is simply hyphen, you can see in the second line it's just hyphen. That means it's a normal file. So this apex is nothing but a directory, and this apex listener dot sh is a normal file. So in the same way, the you can uh, know what type of file it is by using the first character of the line. So Next comes the permission. This R W X is nothing but the permission. R means read, W is write, and X is execute. So read means that uh, a person can uh, open the file and read the contents. That's what read permission gives you. And uh, write is nothing but a person can open and write the write or modify the contents. Then finally the execute. Execute means runs a file, uh, run a file as a executable program or a script. Okay, so these R W X is repeating tries. You can see R W X, then again R hyphen X, then again R hyphen X. Why this is repeating three times? Is the first one uh, belongs to the owner of the file. The second one belongs to the group of the group user of the file. Then the third one is the others. We'll see what is owner. Then the group user, then the others. So that is why we have this three, uh, you know, th the R W X. The permissions are repeating again and again. So here, mm, I have this uh, small picture where which represents that uh, in the file system I have created uh, two groups. There are two groups in the file system. There is group one and group two. Under group one, there is user one, user two. Under group two, there is user three and user four. So you can create any number of users under a group okay and the group will belong to a file system okay that that's what this picture means then you can see a uh, file f1.txt is created by user 3 here f1.txt so the user 3 will become the owner of this f1.txt okay and as the u4 belongs to same group 2 where the u3 belongs so hence this u4 will become will become the group user of the file f1.txt that's why we call it as group user so when you saw this the first three permission will will belong to the actual owner that is our owner here is uh, user 3 okay then the second three sets will uh, belong to the that is the second r hyphen x will be belong to the group user group user is nothing but here our group user is u4 so u4 is the group user of file 1.txt because the u3 and u4 belongs to the same group and here the u1 and u2 are the others that is it doesn't belong to the same group and this is completely separated this u1 and u2 belongs to this different group called group 1 and that's why these are called as others so here the last three set that is r hyphen x again is the uh, permission that is given to the others so this is what this uh, exactly this permission means so the first uh, letter will uh, tell you what type of file it is then the next uh, the permission given to the file or the directory the first set is rwx is for the group user then the second set is for the um, what do you call the group user then the third that is the last set is for the others so and uh, we all know that uh, what is rwx that is read write and execute so in the next uh, tutorial we'll see how we can uh, give this per permission representation that is what is like how what is the number 0 represents 1 represents we'll see all those things in the next tutorial hope uh, this tutorial was helpful if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica@gmail.com and thank you very much for watching